welcome to Burning Feet Adventures. Enjoy part 7 of our off-road journey from Greece to the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia and back. From the Chatili region we traveled further west on minor country roads to get to the famous Zagari mountain pass near Mestia in the western Great Caucasus. On the way I made new local friends at the bakery shop. Dirk discovered a new way to park his motorbike and we both enjoyed the beauty of Georgia's nature. The Zagari Pass is the highest in the Swanetti region and connects the city of Lenteki in the south with the city of Mestia in the west. There are not so many unpaved sections left when riding on the Zagari Pass. In fact, it's only 26 kilometers of dirt because they are extending the road further up from Lantiki every year. Unlike the roads into Shetty to Umalo or Shatili, the Zagari Pass road has no dead end. Once you reach Mestia, you can follow the paved road to get out of the Western Caucasus region. On top of the Zagari Pass on 2620 meters. The pass is closed nearly six months of the year and was opened only the day we rode on it. We even met a few 4x4 campers on the other side of the pass where they camped and waited for the road to be opened. So they were really surprised to see us coming over the other side. We passed Ushguli, a village that is located at the end of the Anguri Canyon and listed as a World Heritage Site. Ushguli, with its tower houses from the Middle Ages, seemed to be touristy. Instead of staying there, we decided to ride with our motorbikes up to the Zygmieki mountain viewpoint, following a ski lift service road on 3183 meters. Dead end on 2,800 meters. Unfortunately, the service road was blocked by large snowfields. We turned around and found a lonely camp spot on 2,500 meters where we pitched our tents, prepared dinner and watched the sun going down behind the snow-captured mountains. After a chilly night in the tents, it was time for trekking. North of Mestia is the Shaladi Glacier. The glacier on 1950 meters is easy to reach. We parked our bikes on the suspension bridge on 1700 meters, the last by vehicle accessible point 
and hiked for one hour uphill. I really recommend you visiting one of the glaciers in this region. Mestia is a busy and touristy city, with supermarkets, restaurants and a petrol station. Compared to Ashguli, Shatili or Dartlu, is this place quite boring? So we had a fresh beef burger and continued our journey on the paved mountain road for the rest. Eat and beer! Yeah. Also das Fleisch wird ja frisch serviert, das steht sogar schon vor der Eingangstür. Ich glaube, ich nehme mal Beef. Also ein Bürger. Be prepared and watch out for suicide cows in a dark tunnel. Our next big travel destination was the Sekari Pass in the Lesser Caucasus Mountains, south of Butaisi. On the way we got stopped by a local motorbike gang that forced us to follow them to their clubhouse and eat homemade cheese, butter, bread and honey. We even had to finish an entire bottle of homemade wine. What a torture! <laughs> there are two pass roads linking the north and the south. If you want to travel the classic Sekari Pass, you have to take in Skaltashua <laughs> uh, the road in direction to Kani and the village of Sekari. This road was closed when we were there and we took the road to Sairme. South of Sairme ends the paved road and the mountains begin to rise. It was raining again, like on every day of our trip in Georgia. What a lovely weather especially when your waterproof clothes are not as waterproof as supposed. The Irma Pass on 2,283 meters. If you ride the road from Sairme, you actually don't ride the Tsekari Pass. Both roads are only accessible by off-road cars or bikes and are closed between October and June. However, both roads join near the Tsekari Pass and lead down the twisty mountain roads to Abbas Tumani.
believe it, believe it or not, this is the SH1, the main road that connects the east with the west, running south of the Lesser Caucasus to Batumi at the Black Sea. Rain, rain, rain. Our next challenge was the 2,372 meters high Shidila Pass. The pass connects the larger settlements of Kulu and Bagmaru. Similar to the Sikari Pass, does it run straight through the Lesser Caucasus Mountains? So, hier ist die Passspitze. Hier kommt nie was und dann kommt hier einer angefahren auf einmal. Hey. Chidila Pass, 3000, nee, 2375 Meter über dem Meeresspiegel. Here we are, Sortikeli. Sortikeli is my most favorite village in Georgia. It's scenic and has a special flair. Unlike Omalo, Mestia or Chantilly, in the Great Caucasus are the houses not made of stones. Fences, roofs and walls are made of timber and people live there permanently.
Hello. 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 Do you speak English? Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> We are from Germany. From Germany. We were having a chat with some locals when two blokes in a van appeared and one of them posed with a gun on Dirk's bike. Yeah, so he was not gifted with long legs and he, the gun and the motorbike landed in the Dirk shortly after. Ganz rutschig, ne? Welcome to our first police control after 2000 kilometers in Georgia. Dirk was so nervous that he couldn't count to five anymore. We camped at the Black Sea near Corpoletti, north of Batumi. Warum denn nicht, Dirk? Nenn mal nicht so. Der Hund hat Hunger. <laughs> After 6000 km offroad, it was time to check the bikes. There were no major damages except some broken plastics, a leaking steering damper, and a cup full of water on Dirk's air filter box. No clue where this came from. Das ist Want to see how the adventure in Turkey continues? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.